diddy do diddy do dun do di I diddy do diddy do. Would you keep that down? I'm trying to focus. No can do, boyo. I'm working on some repairs, and sing helps me focus myself. Just sing a little quiet. I can't paint under these conditions, and Lucy needs painting to be prepared for her lesson today. Mm, I thought she was supposed to paint in those lessons, not you. Yes, well, she's learning to create copies of pre-existing work. And for her to create a copy, there has to be pre-existing work, yes? Ah! I don't know why you need to focus so much on paint anyway. All you need to do is slap a few colors here and there onto the canvas and give it a name and color dots. I could say the same thing about your little lighthouse here. You're doing is, is nothing but sweeping and changing light bulbs in, in this silly little lighthouse. How hard could it be? Ah, you oversimplified me job, boy. There's a lot more work that goes on to maintaining this building than you ever see. You know, I bet my painting and teaching is ten times harder and more intellectually stimulating than your silly little lighthouse job. Oh, oh, I guarantee this lighthouse job is ten times harder than your silly little finger painting. What do you say we make a bet? I'm listening. You take my lesson with Lucy today and teach her all you know about painting. While I'm in the lighthouse and we'll see who has a harder job. Hmm? Whose job is easier and whose job is harder? And whoever is harder will find it. You know what I'm trying to say. Mm. You're on, you ninny. This will be an easy meal. Me and the last uh, have great fun together. And a few times I've had the opportunity to babysit her, that is. And I assure you, babysitting her and teaching her are two different things. As I'm manning the lighthouse and repairing it, there's a list of things that need to be done on the table over there. Try to have them done by the time I get back. That sounds easy enough. Lucy, lessons begin in one hour. So, you might want to go and be off at the library so you can hurry up time to get things together and assembled. One hour gives me plenty of time, lad. I'll take a nice leisurely stroll. Alright, now let's see. First on the agenda is changing the light bulb. Seems simple enough. Now where to keep on those? Ah, yes, no, there they are. I had to get up there. Maybe there's a ladder nearby. Must be running very late today. Ah, oh, Willem, have you seen Pierre? Ah, yes. The lad's back from the lighthouse. You see, we uh, we switched jobs for the day. So you're taking Lucy's lesson then? Aye. Well, splendid. The rooms are all ready, and Lucy will be here in around ten minutes or so. Where's your painting stuff? I'll help you set up everything. Since you know you're running behind. Painting stuff. Don't you have all the stuff here, Captain? I may run a library. Not an odd star. No, no, not at all. See, Pierre always brought his own supplies. Has he now? Should I call Lucy and tell her to cancel her lesson then? No, 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 no. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. It is not a lesson. I, I know that. And you have no art supplies. Right, well, just, just let me think for a moment. What would Pierre do? Hmm. He would have a sculpting lesson, and we... We will use foul material, yes. That sounds like one of those fancy schmancy phrases he uses. Well, if you're sure, then I'll just leave you to it. And as soon as you see Lucy, uh, tell her that I'll be back, all right? Are you all right up there, Peter? Ah, oh, goodness gracious, Melvin. I didn't see you there. Uh, sorry about that. I, I didn't mean to sneak in here. What are you doing in there? Oh, just... Trying to change the light bulb, you know, for the lighthouse. Isn't that Willem's job? Yes, well, we've traded places for the day and see who's harder, you know, job is harder, that is. Well, if you're screwing in a light bulb, then all you have to do is, you know, just screw it in. I, I'd say that's pretty easy. End of the bargain. You see, the, the light bulb is just the first thing on the list. But the trouble is, I can't seem to reach it. You know, you seem like a pretty cool tall guy. Indeed! I am the tallest of the whole Mussolini clan. You wouldn't be able to reach up there for me, would you? Mm, yeah, it would be my honor to assist you. Now, let's see. Yeah! <laughs> no, no it's, it's just a little too far. Hmm. Well, maybe if I climb on top of your head. Well, you know, it's worth a shot. Oh, Mr. Pierre! Mr. Pierre? 
Captain Willem, you're not Mr. Pierre. No, lass, I ain't. Mr. Pierre had some work to do in the lighthouse today, and he sent me in his stead. So, we're going to do sea paintings? Oh, that'll be so fun! We can we can do pirate paintings, because because you're a captain. No, no, no not exactly. Uh, you see, uh, I, I thought it'd be fun if we tried some sculpting today. You mean like with the clay and those spinny wheelie things? Mr. Pierre and I tried that once, but Uncle Walter says we can't use the, the, the spinny wheelie things in the library anymore because of... It'll ruin the books. No, lass, you see, we're going to have to, we're, we're going to, um, build some found sculptures, you see. Like, they're already made? We, we find them? Uh, no, with, with books and found materials that we just pick up from the space around us, you see. Oh, so we're building forts. That's not very artsy. Uh, well, anything could be art if, you know, you just slap a name on it, you see. Captain Willem, I come here for painting and drawing and making things out of clay. I can build forts any old day. Okay, but what if we built a pirate ship out of boats or books? Becky and I did that last week with Uncle Walter. Hmm, I see. Well, then it may seem that I dropped the ball here. I forgot the art supplies. And well, I wouldn't know what to do with it even if I brought it, so I'm, I'm sorry for wasting your time, lass. It might not all be a waste. Well, how do you figure that? Well, you might not have art supplies, but I do, and I can teach you. Would you do that for an old sea captain? Of course. Now, let's begin with the basics. If you move a little to the left, I think I can get it. Move it to the left. No, 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 your other left. I only have one left. Move in the other direction. No, 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 not, not one too farther away. Boy, lad, how's it coming in here? William is back already. I haven't done a single thing on that list. I'm sure he'll understand. If he sees that list, I'm going to lose the bet for sure. Quick, cross everything off this list. But, but it, it, it seems like I'm being a little dishonest. All right, well, if you say so. Wait, 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 Mel, wait, wait. Lad, lad, are you in here? You know, I can, I can see to you, you, you win. Ah, uh, Lucy ended up teaching me the whole lesson. I, I didn't know the first thing about art. Ah, Captain Willem, there you are. All right, here's your mail. If you seen Pierre, he's supposed to be manning this lighthouse. No, no, I, I can't say I have, but I did find this list where everything crossed off on it. <clears throat> Seems he's been busy. Well, I best be finishing up my mail run. If I dilly dallied here a little too long, Anyways, have a good night, Willem. You have a good night too, Pierre. Good gravy! What are you doing up there, boy? Uh, could, could, could you please help? Now, now hold on, hold on. Let, let me just, let me, let me, let me get some pillows and we'll provide you with a soft landing, all right? And when you're ready, just let go. All right, ah! Goodness, my arms are tired. Well, well, thank you for your assistance. How in the world did you get up there? Well, you see, I was, uh, I, I, I was changing the light bulb, and, uh, don't you know there's a ladder? There is. Right over there on the wall. What else do you think the scaffolding is for if you didn't know about the ladder? I, I don't know how you complete all the other tasks here. <laughs> yes, the other task. I, uh, well, you see, I, uh, I, uh, I, I didn't. I checked them off so you wouldn't know that I didn't manage to do even a single thing on that list. I am a failure. I, I greatly misjudged the difficulty on you for your job, and I am sorry. Oh, oh, thank goodness. For a minute there, I thought you were just, I, know, I thought I was just an incompetent old bird who couldn't do anything. On, and on top of that, I was going to have to buy you dinner. <laughs> I, I missed your job too. If it weren't for everything you taught Lucy already, the two of us would just be, well, sitting here, just staring at each other. Do you want to call it a job then? And no one has to buy each other dinner? But again. Let's both go out tonight and buy each other dinner. That sounds like a plan. You still don't tell me how you got up there. Oh, no, that, that's not important. Uh, on the side note, did you know that Melvin doesn't know his right or his left? 